Hey, this is Brandon, and this will be my chart review for um, Wednesday, January 27th. Um, my last, uh, the last time I had a profitable day on Simulator was the 19th of January. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, yesterday was my fifth fifth losing day in a row uh, again on Simulator, and today I finally was able to uh, eke out a profit here, trading three contracts on the Simulator, scalping out with two, and trying to let the uh, third contract run. Um, but it's really not all that important to me at this point. I'm more of trying to uh, identify and take the good setups, um, avoid mistakes like this right here where I just sell or buy um, blindly. I did that and that was actually a, a big losing trade. It went right to right to the place uh, where I got stopped out, went another one or two ticks and, um, and then headed down. Uh, but I never should have been shorting blindly to begin with. Um, and so that was almost an $800 loss on SIM. So imagine if I hadn't made that one mistake. Um, I had some big trades in here um, and finished the day with a little bit better than $200 uh, in profit. So it just barely squeaked out a win. Uh, but at least my losing streak, streak is, is over. Um, and I you know, announced to my... Uh, Buddies in the Skype group that uh, I was finished, and I just, you know, quote unquote, switched to simulator. So if this had been live trading, um, I would have switched to simulator, and and I proceeded to mess around in here. Um, so I'm not really counting those trades. Um, just about broke even in this area. Maybe lost a little bit, but doesn't matter. Um, this was the official result. To the extent that even matters, so. Uh, very interesting day. I don't have a larger pattern. I guess you could say it's a huge range day. Um, you know, in, in the beginning, it was uh, stuck between about 1893 and about 1880. Uh, so about 19 or 20 points there. Right, 80 and 93. No, about, about 13 points. Um, so it was kind of stuck in that range and then had a big breakout to the uh, high side and then a big breakout to the low side and stayed down there. Tried to make a little bit of a comeback in the afternoon, but uh, I was using short-term trend channels, you can see, um, and I stepped away from the screen uh, at a couple of different points today to run some errands, um, so I did miss some trades due to that but uh anyway let's zoom in and this is where i came in uh i started watching around um uh, right in here i believe it was just a little bit after 5 a.m for me in california about a little a little after seven central time and um you know, it definitely looks like a range. I did notice that this area of um, support pretty much all all day yesterday, right in here about the 1888, 1889 level. Um, Mac mentioned that level on his video and noticed that it was really strong support. And in the overnight, it actually broke below that. And it seemed to be coming into play as... Uh, resistance in the early morning, the overnight and the early morning session, you can see it kept closing at or below that line. Um, and there's kind of a, a trend headed down um, and there's a trend headed up. So right at the beginning of the morning, um, it was kind of difficult to uh, understand what was going on. This was the first trade that I marked. It's actually quite early. 
uh, 6.06 a.m. Central Time. Um, but notice that there's a little short-term trend working up right along here. And it gives you a break and makes a higher low. It makes a little double bottom and gives that really nice bullish bar. It's a second entry coming from the low. So, um, again, it was super early, but I like that setup. That seemed valid to me. Um, and by the time I started watching it in here, from the low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short, it was tempting for me to go long right here. Um, but I didn't want to do that because there had been uh, this shorter term trend line break and a new high, and it was right into that area of resistance. So uh, I felt really sketchy about going long um, when, you know, there had not yet been a close above that 88.75 level. So I didn't circle that trade. There's a breakout pullback, um, but you have to go long at the absolute high of the day. Uh, so I didn't mark that either, and I don't think it, really, it would have worked out very well anyway. Um, I drew this channel. And we get a break and it makes a new high. Um, so I was away from the screen for this setup. Notice what happens here. Um, see, the open is right here at 8.30. So you get a little trend line working down. You can see those highs lined up. And you get a close outside the line. And it pushes down and makes a new low. Now this is a pretty clear trend working up. So, you know, you're looking, you're expecting prices to retest these, these highs. So um, I liked this setup right here when it uh, made this little tiny doji bar, came down here, made a double bottom, and then broke out the, the high. <clears throat> uh, I like going long right there. I didn't see it actually happen, so I don't know if it ticked higher first and then came down and went up, but it looks to me like it went down and then shot up. Um, so I was also watching this two-tiered channel um, and you see it, the midline is kind of holding in some areas here, a couple of bars right in here. Um, it blasts through the midline and comes back and supports, comes um, acts as support and then drops down and it acts as resistance and it comes back up and it acts as support and then drops back down and acts as resistance right there at the midline. So I think that midline is accurate and then I drew my upper line there um, and notice it came into play right there uh, again and the midline came into play as well here which would have uh, been a booster for this for going long right there on that trap. <clears throat> uh, so yeah so anyway there's this channel working up break and a new high um, and it reverses and starts working down um, I wasn't comfortable going short right here it seemed like there was uh, some support here at this price level it also seemed like there would be some support here at the midline um, so I guess it's kind of a reversal pattern and it is a failed second entry long and it's a really nice um, trap type of setup the way it ticked one higher and then raced down and broke out the lower side and it was gone it, it, it I watched this happen and it was very quick there was no chance to come back here with a limit order and get short uh, it was just out of there so I guess based on that really nice trap setup with the really nice bullish bar off the midline and um, and you know the one tick failure there, um, I, I guess I should have been more confident and just gone short right there. But I skipped that trade. Um, this lower trend line just prices just cut right through that. So I. I stopped it there. Um,
another trader in our group um, actually took this short right here at, at that price level. Um, I didn't just because there was so much overlap there and there was this potential trend line here um, and I didn't want to take a trade out of that little tiny trading range um, so I skipped that trade it is it, it is kind of a second entry failed second entry long notice it tries to go higher once tries to go higher a second time and then fails um, and it's right off this trend line I had a steeper trend line you see that um, little trend there and break and new low so um, I wasn't sure that it wouldn't head higher from here um, and I didn't want to trade a breakout like that anyway so I had to watch that happen starts to bounce here um, I notice how let's see here why did oh so there was some obviously these matching lows right here so when prices came back to that same price level I almost shorted it blind I, I had for a minute or two I had a, a sell order right there at that price level and that would have that would have worked out very well but um, you know I can't do that I can't just sell or or buy blindly so I ended up canceling the order and sure enough it came up here one tick higher definitely would have filled my short and then dropped down um, instead I treated this as a breakout pullback I know it's a first entry and that's ultimately why I um, I, I ended up closing the trade um, but and this wasn't a super bearish bar either but uh, I figured this was a, a, a breakout pullback to that price level there. So when it dropped lower, I went short and it instantly went against me. Um, I had my stop a tick above that high. And so it just wasn't working out, wasn't working out. Um, and then right in here, I went ahead and closed the trade for a one tick loss. Um, and then it, <laughs> it dropped right down where I thought it was going to go, um, but obviously didn't didn't go very much further. Um, and then this, I think this was a legit mistake. Um, I mean, this is a channel working down. There is perhaps a tiny break right there, and this is your new low. Um, but I, I didn't think that was strong enough so when this broke here I was expecting prices to come back down and retest this low never did um, but watch what happens here this is a first entry long uh, pullback and this is a second entry long notice it goes a single tick higher than that previous high uh, and then dropped really quickly um, two ticks below the previous low um, so I thought that was extremely bearish, and uh, I figured that meant prices were headed lower. I didn't want to get short right there because it would have been a giant stop. Um, so I actually used a limit order to go short right here at 82.75. So my 84.75 um, stop would be right there, one tick above that high. So it came back and filled me, went against me, um, came close to stopping me out, and then it came down here and gave me a four tick scalp. My runner, I wasn't quick enough, um, and my runner actually came back here and uh, it, uh, and so I, I took a one tick loss on the runner, uh, but I got four ticks on the two main contracts, and then it rocketed higher. Um, so this turns out to be one of those uh, really nasty double trap type of things. You got a bullish bar um, followed by an extremely bearish bar. It makes it look like they're trapping the longs and you try to go short like I did and then you get that really bearish bar and the very next bar is really bullish and it does break higher. So what looks like a, uh, a a bull trap turns out to actually be a bear trap and it heads higher. 
so I circled this right here. Um, I, I think when it breaks higher there, like it, if you think of this all as one move, you got your new low, it tries to go lower once, tries to go lower a second time there, uh, and then it blasts higher. I, I think that's the place to go along right there, and I watched that one go by. Uh, so draw the trend line off of those first two swings, and it starts coming into play right here. Um, okay. This was a, a new swing low because it was lower than this low. So counting from here, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. So when it failed, I came back here with a um, limit order to buy, uh, uh, trading that as a failed second entry short. Um, and I really thought that prices would head back up to the top of the range. Um, unfortunately, I was wrong and took a loss there. So then you have a little trend working down. You get a break and uh, a new low, just barely. I actually faded this first entry. This is the first entry long. I actually faded it. Um, went short right there and took four ticks and um, actually I think I oh here it took four ticks and eight ticks you can barely see that little dot that little triangle there um, and so that's enough apparently to make the new low and it starts running into this trend line here and I got long a single contract here I um, I like this as a second entry long, um, but it was a little bit too much of a stop, so I actually used a limit order to get long. I was trying to buy three. I only got filled with one um, and took a scalp. And then um, there's a, another trader in our Skype group. His name is Jason, and right in this area, he, I don't. I didn't see him when he mentioned that he got long, but he mentioned that he was had a target at uh, at 90 and a half. So I decided to join with him on that long, and I just went long here, um, looking for 90 and a half, and uh, it it only went well. I think it did actually go four ticks my way, but didn't fill my four tick order. Um, and then it came back and, and went against me, and I stopped. I stopped out for a loss there. Um, I went short right here because I figured prices were gonna. It was uh, basically it was a second entry short. Notice the low. First entry short, pull back second entry short, um, and it was, <clears throat> excuse me, it was a successful trade. I um, I took four ticks. I don't remember if I took all three contracts at four ticks. I do remember I closed part of the trade there at least, um, and then this ended up being. New low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short, and it failed right here. Um, so as soon as it ticked higher, it, it came back a little bit, and I used a limit order to go long right there. I took a four tick scalp on my two on two of my contracts, and I let the third contract run until right up here. Notice that I had this um, two tier channel. And what I did is I just targeted a tick below that upper line for my runner. Um, so I like to fail second entry short right in this area to, uh, to go long. Uh, I don't, this is a really nice bullish bar and it is kind of a trap. 
but uh, I had a problem with this trade because you're going long right into these um, previous highs. You know, so there's some resistance there, I thought, and so I wasn't comfortable going long there. It's also uh, a first entry. So, you know, I at this point, I figured this was the top of the channel. I figured it's a two-tier channel, um, so I'm not really going to go long right in right into that uh, upper channel line. Um, little did I know it was about to do this. So I didn't mark any of these trades. I suppose um, this is if you treat this as a new low, um, then I suppose this is a failed second entry short, and you can go long there. Um, and maybe if I extend this out, um, then maybe I should have been looking more for uh, this area up here and, you know, take that long. I don't know. Um, I, I didn't like it. I'm trying to uh, avoid trades like that where I'm going long into the highs of the day or short into the lows of the day. Um, so we get this channel, this incredible bullish channel going up. Finally get a break and it makes two legs to a new high. That's a nice second entry. Counting from the low, first century long, pull back, second entry long. Again, it's right into the highs of the day, but um, it's a really nice bullish bar, so. Um, so I was away from my screen again from 11.10, like right after it made this new high until right as this bar was forming. Um, I ended up missing this. I was occupied with some other tasks, um, but notice this lower line lines up really well in those three lows. So you anchor it on this high um, and it comes into play right there. And counting from the high, you got first entry long, pull back, second entry long, and it fails. Um, it doesn't really fail <laughs> because uh, that, that goes well, uh, much further than four ticks. Um, but it is right off that trend line, right off the EMA. This is a reversal pattern. It's quite bearish in here, and it's gone pretty far below the EMA. So it's suspect when it starts coming back up here above the EMA again. So when you get that bearish bar, I like going short right there. Just... I just barely missed it. I looked away from my screen for for like half a minute and um, it was already down here. So I notice uh, notice this big bearish bar. So there's a there's a high here, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. Um, I went short right here. Um, and I had my stop right above there and notice I didn't allow my uh, I didn't get the stop to be hit I my stop would have survived that's what I'm trying to say um, and I actually would have come down here and made a um, had a win um, but for some reason I stopped myself out there and I believe I actually went long at that point. Did I? No, I just stopped myself out. Um, shoot, I can't remember. I know I went like short right in this area. Um, and then I got stopped out right here and actually reversed and went long and took a win. So then we had FOMC. And uh, price action went a little wild. 
All right, so I had an interruption there, uh, but I put myself on break mode, <laughs> so I won't be interrupted for the rest of the, this recording. Um, so this was the mistake I made right in here. I uh, I went, I just went short blindly. I thought, okay, this is a big move down. Uh, let me just fade this big, excuse me, this big move up, and it's sure to go down. Um, well. <laughs> I put my stop for whatever reason I put my stop here about four or so points away uh, 1902 and a quarter um, 190650 and yeah it came right there and stopped me out perfectly <laughs> so you know a four and a half four, four and a quarter point stop is not safe um, they uh, they know where you put those stops apparently, but uh, that was a mistake to, to just blindly sell right there. Turned out to be a great idea, um, but I, I needed to wait for an actual entry. Um, so the next thing that happened, I noticed the big move down, so it's like a first entry short, and it pulls back. And this was a I thought this was a pretty bearish bar. Um, and so I went short under it when it broke lower and I had my stop this time I had my stop up here above that um, and came down here and took a scalp I believe it was like five points one and a quarter 85 so five and a half points um, and then I let my runner go a little bit further um, another uh, 250 so another another three points on the runner as well so eight something points on so anyway that the loss obviously hurt but I made up for it and then some with the uh, the big um, trade right after that um, I was thinking it would come down and touch this lower line I had this upper line like so and um, but when I got the hesitation here, I just closed my my runner right there. Um, the next thing that happened, notice the high here, first entry long, pull back second entry long. I figured that uh, this would fail, um, so I went short right here. That was a bad idea. You notice it never it didn't ever tick lower. Um, so not sure what triggered my order there, um, but I went short there, got stopped out, um, and then I went short here. Now this was based off of the 1,000 tick chart, I believe. It might have been the 500. Um, I went short there and um, took an extra large scalp and my runner right there. Um, so. Then what happened here, I wasn't sure exactly how to draw this channel. I ended up having it like this because you get the break and a couple of legs to a new high um, and then it reverses. But prior to that, I had it more like so. And it fits really nicely along these three, these three highs, um, and I like how it fits there as well. But the problem with that is you, you never get a break and a retest um, unless you know it tried there and it tried one more time there and then ultimately failed. Um, so that could be the way it is. And this is a pretty clear channel working down. Fits nicely on these couple of lows. Fits nicely on those three highs. And this is the first break of that channel. So expecting a retest of the lows in here. Um, I actually went long right here. And this was, again, based on uh, what Jason was doing. He mentioned that he, that, you know, he just texted the word long. And so I went long and went a couple ticks my way. Um, and then reversed and and stopped me out. I actually um, clicked the 
Um, I, let's see. So yeah, I went long here, um, and I got stopped out there uh, for a loss. And then this was really, really bearish right here. So I just went short right, right below that, right at that uh, close there. It did go a few ticks against me, um, and then it came down here, and I took a fairly large scalp there, uh, 88.75. Took a two-point uh, scalp, and I believe I took four, maybe four and a quarter points on the, uh, yeah, no, four points on the runner. Uh, okay, so this was uh, not a great idea. Notice the high. I kind of pick, I kind of viewed this all as one move up. Like this is first century long pullback, second entry long, and when it failed here, I went short with a stop, um, and I didn't like it anymore. <laughs> Uh, so I went. I had gone short at 84 even, and I yeah I just took two ticks and got the hell out. Um, and then again, Jason mentioned something about going long. So I actually went long in here, and um, I think it might have been a little bit late. Like maybe he had actually gone long down here or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but then he was like, I'm out, and so I got out. I took a single tick. Um, and really, I think this is a good um, second entry short. I didn't talk about this trade. Notice the high here. It tries to go higher once, pulls back, tries to go higher a second time. Notice, notice that high is just one tick higher than the previous. Let me use the, um, so the high is 94.75 and the high there is 95 even. So one tick, a couple ticks higher, fails, a couple ticks higher, fails right there. Um, so just failed second entry long. Um, so great place to go short there. And that, that drops really quickly. And then you make your new low, first entry short. Notice it stops a tick shy of the previous low. First entry short, pull back, second entry short. This is not a great signal bar. Uh, and neither is this, frankly. Um, so, okay, so I had a really, really long interruption there and uh, ran out of time on my break and had to do a little uh, meeting and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, anyway, um, I was talking about this second entry short. Um, you know, it... <laughs> It's kind of one of those situations. I, I don't like either one of these signal bars. Um, and then, you know, you can do the thing where once it breaks lower, then use the limit order to come back here and try to get short, you know, a tick below that original signal bar. Um, but I, I believe it would have left uh, without you. Um, and uh, I actually, like I said, I actually went long there and took a single tick. Um, and got out uh, thankfully um, but you know I guess it's just one of those situations where even though the signal bar is not ideal it's still a second entry and it's right off of this trend line and it's right off of the EMA so um, at one point I did have a, a, a sell stop right here and then when it closed like that I, I didn't like it anymore and I canceled the sell stop and um, and then got a, a note from Jason that he was going long, and the rest is history. So anyway, that's a nice uh, second entry short. Um, and then this was the last trade that I took. Um, it is, notice it tried to go higher once there. So counting from this recent high, which was higher than this high, notice it dipped down a little bit there and made a new high. Um, first entry long, pull back second entry long, and it failed. Uh, I didn't get a great entry here. Actually, um, was I entered two ticks below that. Um, and But anyway, I got my four tick scalp, and I actually took a three point uh, on the runner. Um, and that was it. <clears throat> um, so 
finally managed to finish in the black. Um, didn't mark any trades after that. And that was it. So, yeah, I guess that's it for the video. This I was just screwing around here. Um, and so, anyway, decent day. Um, I'm glad to finally have something in the black. And uh, that's it for the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.